Well, it turned out to be a dramatic day in the opening round of the Australian PGA Championship on the Gold Coast. And let's have a look at some of the action that did take place. And first of all, American visitor Scott Stallings. Great to have him here this week. And here he is with his second shot at the 10th hole. Setting up a red figure on the card and hopefully putting himself into a position where he might be able to contend come the weekend. But most eyes were on Adam Scott needing to get off to a much faster start than he had at the Masters in Melbourne and the Australian Open in Sydney. This was an eagle putt of the 12th, leaving that one short, but he was able to tidy up for the birdie to get it to red figures. And then after missing his eagle at 12, he came to 15. And this is the sort of thing that can really get your round rolling. Scott from 20 feet, yeah. right in the heart of the hole. And that got the galleries going and it got Adam Scott going as well. So after going out in 33, made the turn and then came to the par five third hole. This for a birdie. And Scott moved to minus four. Just the start that he was looking for. Chirat Jirasuan is one of our visitors. He's from Thailand and what a start he had. Began at 10. He made birdie 10, 11, 12, 13, and then rolled that one in at 14. And he's saying, well, this is a pretty easy game golf at the moment. Five under after five. Here's another man who had a very productive opening day. The 41-year-old from America, Boo Weekly. His second shot to the eighth. Short par four, pin cut in the back right corner. And Boo had, had a very good day. Has loved everything about his time in Australia. He loved the look of his scorecard today. From an experienced player to a young man, James Marcazzani at the first of the par threes, the second. Measuring exactly 178 metres today. He won the Jack Nicholas Award in the last few years. Spent some time with the great man. And you can understand why. He's one of the fine young crop of Australian golfers coming up through the ranks. We all know the battles that Jared Lyle has had in recent times to be out there on the golf course. But he came up with a very good opening round. Three under par round of 69, which included this, a birdie at the 18th. And great to see Jared rolling them in, as he used to do. Adam Scott tried to pull out driver and go for everything at eight and finished up making bogey. One hole further ahead, his final hole for the day. He made up for it with a beautiful little chip. A kick in birdie for Adam Scott, and that was a four under par round of 68 for the defending champion. Of the players who went off a little bit later, Mark Leishman from Victoria, a winner on the PGA Tour back in 2012, and he was rolling it very nicely early on. Two under after three, Brendan Jones, even better. This was his approach at the third. He made a birdie at one, a birdie at two, and then set up another one with that wonderful iron shot at the third. The Masters champion from a couple of weeks ago, Nick Cullen, had things rolling along nicely, especially with his putter. Got a long range birdie putt at the first hole, and then he had a similar length here at four. And yet again, the radar was on. Nick Cullen moving it to three under par after four holes. Rod Pampling had an amazing scrambling day. He just tended to chop it around a little bit, but the results were spectacular. Didn't look as though that was going to be the case. This was his fourth shot at the par four, sixth. And he couldn't do anything wrong. His scrambling was simply magnificent. Craig Hancock. Here he is at the 14th of par three, having to come out of the rough, downhill all the way to the pin. And this was a piece of brilliance. Craig Hancock also having a very good opening round. Four under par round of 68, but then not long after that, the lightning and the thunder came and the players were forced to leave the course. And it was a spectacular sight, but it was a dangerous one in round one. And this is some of what the players might have been witnessing from the safety of the clubhouse a little bit later on. The fury of Mother Nature being unleashed all the way around the Gold Coast. And the ever-present thunder was there and very much in the consciousness of everybody. This is what the leaderboard looked like when the players left the course. Boo Weekly, 6 under 66, the leader by two from New Zealand's David Smale. 
Australia's Adam Scott, Wade Ormsby, James Marcazzani and Craig Hancock. So the weather interrupting in round one. What have we got in store in Friday at the Gold Coast? We'll find out.